Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to do an empowerment reading for the zodiac sign of Capricorn for the month of April year 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you're one of my returning viewers, watchers, or subscribers, welcome, welcome back. I'm sending you so much love and light as always. I appreciate you. If you are a cross watcher, please come on in. You're always welcome. I'm sending you so much love and light and blessings as well. If you don't know, because you're new to my channel, I am not big on signs. I like to focus on you, Capricorn. If your message connects to maybe one of the other Zodiac readings that I've done, I will let you know, and it's up to you if you want to watch. Um, when it comes to Oracle cards and tarot cards, it's really all about energy, so don't focus on the gender so much. Take the messages, how they fit in your life. Hopefully they do fit, but if they don't, don't force it. Um, hopefully you can still be inspired or just enjoy the messages anyways. Um, when it comes to reversals, I use one deck that I actually do reversals with, <laughs> and it's an Oracle deck. I will not be using that deck today. There's two, um, decks that I will be using in this reading. It's the first one's called the love and light deck is by, um, Doreen Virtue. And then the second deck I'll be using is an empowerment deck and it's called magical times empowerment deck. If I forget to tell you the name of the deck sometimes, or, um, I forget to tell you who they were by. Please read the description box below because I list them, okay? Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. It keeps my channel going and growing, and that is ultimately my goal. I can't do it without you, and I do appreciate everybody. Real talk. Um, I get the best compliments and comments from you guys to the point I've been brought to tears. And I'm talking like recently, and these are happy tears. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys that much. Please know that, and just know I can't thank you enough. But I will always say thank you and show gratitude. I am available for life coaching sessions and reading. So if you're interested, please read the description box below. My email is there. That's how you would contact me. The information is there. But if you have any questions, um, please just um, contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. For anybody who's ever donated um, your energy, your time, whatever, your money, whatever it was that you donated, just know that I appreciate your blessings. I'm saying thank you. I do thank you. I do appreciate you. And it means a lot. And just know that everything you guys put into me, I'm putting back into me. And I'm bringing it through spirit, through me, back to you. Okay? I do have PayPal and Cash App. So if you're feeling generous, um, my links are below. All right. Let's talk about Empowerment Capricorn. So Empowerment to me is training your mind and your body to find the strength. And it's power through all situations, every situation, you know, not just when you're down, but when you're up, everything, you should always show gratitude and be thankful to God and your spiritual team for everything that you have and will have, you know, and appreciate every blessing that you've had thus far. Every, I mean, waking up today, having food in the fridge, um, being alive, having limbs that work or whatever you have that's going for you, that's positive. That is something to appreciate because whatever you have, guaranteed, there's somebody who does not have that. And a little for us can mean a lot for somebody else. So everything is a blessing. And it's important to always remember that and appreciate it. And this is something I feel like a lot of you Capricorns do. That's the energy I get. You guys have really big hearts. You're very loving. Um, and I also feel like, you know, when it comes to empowerment, you know, we really need to feel strength in those times where things are very challenging or difficult or we're going through situations, you know, that's just tumultuous. Um, when we're going through those, those type of situations and scenarios, you know, people really can break our heart and emotions, uh, emotions run deep Capricorn. And I, I'm, I'm a Leo, but I'm referring to our heart because everybody has had their heart broken or will in some form. It's not always romantically speaking. It can be from a family member, a friend, a disappointment, you know, something we really wanted that we didn't get, that we hoped for. We worked extra exceedingly hard for, and it just didn't work out a certain way that we wanted it to. But, you know, picking yourself back up, reminding yourself that you are strong, you are amazing, and you're worth great things because you truly are. So that's what empowerment to me is about, finding your strength and courage through everything, the good and especially the bad, because that's the times when you need it the most. So no matter what, always lean and turn to you, to God and your spiritual team. They always got you. And just know that it, that power to me is in all of us because it does come from God and spirit. So it's in you. 
Capricorn. It's already there. But a lot of us have to learn how to pull it out and how to turn to it and see the good through everything, even the things we don't get, even the things we weren't granted that we know we deserved or we earned or we went above and beyond. You know, I've had experiences where I knew I went above and beyond and maybe I didn't get a certain grade that I know I deserved or I didn't get a certain treatment by certain people when I gave them beyond my all. Um, but God saw it and he didn't stop blessing me. He didn't stop helping me. He didn't turn away. God never turns away. You know, there's so many people who have experienced homelessness or helplessness or, um, some type of great loss. You know, we've all have challenges. This is what makes us human. But even those who have given up, there has been a time where God has sent somebody, somebody to encourage or inspire them to keep going or to get up and to try. Somebody always comes through, whether people listen or not. You know, what we choose to do is up to us. But I always believe help is always there. Spiritual help, physical help. God always sends somebody. Even if it's just a message, get up from there. Go help yourself. Stay positive. Keep going. Even if it's just them giving you positive words of encouragement or affirmations, whatever it is, help is always there. I believe that. And if nobody's there, God and your spiritual team is always there. So, um, be encouraged and be empowered. It's in you. It's in all of us. Okay. So let's get to part one of your reading Capricorn. So from the love and light deck. And if you guys don't know, this deck is by Doreen Virtue. I love her work. She is the mother of Tarot, if you don't know, but she's amazing. So I pulled retreat from the world. This is, if you don't know, this deck has scriptures from the Bible. So from Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10, it says the rain and snow come down from the heavens and they stay on the ground to water the earth. You guys have retreat from the world. Even if you're down, there's something to be inspired or happy about. There's some blessing. There's some memory. There's some moment that's going to come to mind that lights your face up and makes you smile or at least flutter your heart and make you feel good inside. That is what you need to find. That is what you need to turn to when things are sad, you know, when you've taken a loss or you're really missing somebody or you're going through something that's really difficult or serious or whatever the situation is. It's like the Spirit saying, take some time for you. See the blessing, see the good in all things, but remember the beauty of who you are and it's okay to take some time out and away and rest and replenish and restore yourself. And go to God and have him restore you as well. It's okay to take a few extra hours of sleep. It's okay to spend some time in solitude and focus on your own dreams and goals and the things that really make you happy and uplifted. It's okay to do that. I feel like they're telling you to do that because a blessing will come out of that. Like it says, the rain and the snow come down from the heavens and it stays on the ground and water the earth. So the rain and the snow comes down. Once the snow melts, it turns into water and our plants and things start to grow up. They come back up. So whatever you're feeling, if you're feeling down, you're going to come up. It's going to get better. There's good that awaits you. There's blessings ahead. There is a brighter and better future. So if you have to let the tears fall, let them fall. Because you're not going to cry forever. God's going to catch them and he's going to water something. Those tears are going to water something and something's going to grow from that. Something better is going to come out of that. If you need to retreat, retreat. Do it respectfully. Do it with love for yourself and others. Let's get to part two of your reading Capricorn from the Magical Times Empowerment Deck. I'm going to pull four messages. Please come through as you always do for the Zodiac sign of Capricorn spirit. Please come through. Capricorn for the month of April year 2021 for the zodiac sign of Capricorn all right for Capricorn what are the messages for Capricorn April year 2021 for Capricorn that 
two fell, I believe. I need two more. I'm going to take them off the ground because if they came out, we need it. I do trust it. For Capricorn, one more. Or whatever you feel is best, Spirit. For Capricorn, for Capricorn, for Capricorn. One more. Okay, there it is. Yeah, some of you are going through a lot. I was going to say that, but... Um, or you've endured a lot and you're reflecting on this. I'm seeing reflection. Some of you are missing somebody. Oh, sorry about that, you guys. I um accidentally bumped the table. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, wow. So you, it's, let me tell you the cards that came out. So cycles, sanctuary, reconciliation, and adversity came out. Wow. So I'm going to read the cards and I'm also going to read them intuitively as it comes to me. So you guys have cycles, okay? Let me show you the card real quick. It says, we all are becoming. Surrender to your changes. Release your fear. Trust this powerful process. I love it. So welcome change. You're moving into a new cycle. Some of you have left a relationship. Some of you have left a certain career behind, a certain job. Um, some of you have actually moved or you're going to. You're leaving something behind. And I feel like there is something toxic you're leaving behind too. There's something that wasn't good here, that wasn't fair to you is what I'm getting very strongly. I was going to say somebody's going through something heavy. That's the energy I'm getting. Don't be scared of what's next. Be open. Be excited. Um, because you don't want to manifest fear. You don't want that coming, uh, coming out and blocking and holding you back. Okay. Just welcome what's new and what's ahead. Take that leap of faith. Be courageous. Stand in your power. You can do this. There's beautiful things that await you. You have sanctuary. I'm not surprised to see this because you guys already have retreat. So yeah, you need to take some time for you. This could be about healing. It says embrace the need for solitude. Your inner sanctuary calls you. Renew yourself and thrive. Yeah, restore yourself. You know, read some interesting books about self-help, about um, it's about how to grow, how to be stronger, how to be wiser, how to be better. Maybe take up a new skill or a new trade or new hobby. Um, try something new. Some of you may return back to school for a higher level education or getting an education for the first time. Don't be afraid and don't feel bad about anything. Start where you are. You can make it. You can achieve and you can reach that finish line. This is beautiful energy. I love it. It's time to take time out for you to help yourself. You've helped a lot of people, Capricorn. It's time to focus on you is what I'm getting here. Anything else, Spirit? Because I feel like there might have been something else. Yeah, you're going to feel restored. Renew yourself. You're going to like rebuild your heart. You're going to rebuild something here. Healing. I'm hearing healing. Even something that could have happened in your childhood. I'm getting somebody could have lost a child. My condolences. Or somebody who was very childlike. They could have been an, um, an older person or middle age or something like that. But like um, a childlike soul. Like they really enjoy to do um, childlike things. Like they're very fun and, and playful. Um, you also have reconciliation here. So somebody from the past is going to return. This could be spiritually or physically. You may dream somebody that you know have passed on to the other side in heaven. They may be sending you a message they may come to give you a kiss or a hug or just spend time with you um for some of you this is a baby you're missing a baby oh <sighs> stay strong that's what i'm hearing and and whoever you're missing or whoever's coming back to reconcile with you this could also be you wanting to reconcile with somebody um in the physical world as well somebody miss you is what i'm getting Somebody's going to reach out to you. This could also be you reaching out to them. Do what feels right to you. It says, remember the source of love. A loving action is all you need to begin the process. Reach out with a simple first step. Some of you need to take this first step and just tell somebody you miss them. You love them. You wish them well. You want to hear from them. Reach out. And if this is spiritual, understand that they hear you. Talk to them during your prayers. They do hear you and talk out loud. You can talk in silence as well in your memory and your thoughts, but they also hear you when you speak aloud. So don't be afraid to say what you want to say. 
even if it was things that you didn't get a chance to say, they can still tell you from the other side and you can hear them. You can hear them. They go on to their next life, but you can hear them. Take that message how it resonates for you, but there's a reconciliation here. A lot of you may be seeing a lot of beautiful butterflies, especially the yellow and brown ones. I'm getting maybe even white as well. Your, I feel like I'm hearing your spirit guides and your, um, your family and friends from the other side are sending them to you if you're seeing that. Or there could be some type of omen, uh, synchronicity, something you're seeing a lot. Especially in the air. I'm getting in the air. Take some time for you. You need to heal from something. For some of you, this is heartbreak from a romantic partner or interest. You guys also have adversity. Just remember this. It's not how many times you fall. It's how many times you get up. Capricorn, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Rise again. Your card says, see the gifts in challenge. One can be taught within the calm, but the greatest lessons are learned from the storms. You've learned your most powerful, influential messages from people wronging you, betraying you, opportunities that you deserve and didn't get. You've learned your most powerful lessons about not just life, but about you, how you survived it all, how you kept going. How you stayed strong and stayed loving. You found the fighter in you. It's always going to be there. Do not ever give up. You are worth it. You are enough. And you can overcome everything. You have God and an incredible team that's supporting you. There's some cycle that's over that needs to be over. I feel like you should expect some big changes. That's what I'm getting. You've gone through a lot, but there's some changes coming in. Give yourself the love that you deserve. I've been really getting back to my books um, lately because, you know, when you're in college, a long time ago, I was in college and a long time ago, you know, I was so focused on the books that I had to read, you know, to pass my classes and the stuff I had to study. And I love articles online, but for right now, I'm really missing just a paperback or a hardback book. Um, I'm reading, uh, what is it called? The Four Agreements. And then there's some other books I'm really, um, starting to get into as well, but I'm, I'm on that one right now. I think it's by Ruiz Miguel. Really good book so far. I need to get back to it. Uh, it's been a few days, but anyways, um, you may want to start reading books or like I said, take on a new interest or a new hobby, or a new trait. There's something you need to do for you. Whatever that is, do it. And do it now. Take time out for you. It's okay to do that. You know, tell people you just need some time. You need some space. They'll understand. And if they don't, take your time and space anyways. You understand. And it's not to be rude. It's not to be mean. It's not to detach. But it's to give yourself like a spiritual healing. You need some calmness. You need some harmony. You need some peace around you. You know, surround yourself with flowers and beautiful things. Some of you, I'm hearing you like embroidery or jewelry. Wear your jewelry. Make your jewelry. If you make candles, make your candles. Stay strong and know that you are loved. I'm hearing know that you are desired. And I feel like things are going to get better. Laugh and love and know that you are loved. Yes, you are Capricorn. You are loved. Okay, Capricorn. These have been your empowerment messages for the month of April, your 2021. I hope all of these messages resonate with all of you or as much as possible with as many of you as possible. I'm wishing you so much love and light, infinite blessing, joy, happiness and abundance and peace. I'm wishing you a lot of peace. It's coming. Embrace what's new and what's next. God bless you. Bye Capricorn.